This is chapter seven, video lecture number three. And we're going to be looking at what's called the stock system. The stock system is just um, an extension of naming ionic compounds. When we look at groups one through two and 13 through 18, the representative elements, there's only one charge for a positive ion in the upper right hand corner. But if we look at the transition metals and a couple of other metals, we see there's more than one positive charge in the upper right hand corner. So here we see titanium. Titanium has three positive charges, possibilities for ions, plus two, plus three, and plus four. Iron has a couple of possibilities plus two and plus three. Gold has a couple of possibilities for a positive ion. When we do the nonmetals for this class, we take the top negative charge. So nitrogen has a minus three. But we have a different system for the metals. The metals, we have a way of identifying which positive ion we're talking about and that's called the stock system. In the stock system, the charge of the ion for a metal is represented with a Roman numeral in parentheses for the name of the ion that we're using. So here we see Ti2+. To specifically state we're using the titanium 2 plus ion, we say titanium and then Roman numeral two in parentheses. If we're using the titanium three plus ion, then we say titanium Roman numeral three in parentheses. And it's just a system for identifying when we have more than one positive ion. So here we have cobalt two plus, so that would be cobalt Roman numeral two and cobalt three plus. So cobalt Roman numeral three. The bottom one, we can have 10 Roman numeral two for the two plus. And we can have 10 Roman numeral four IV for the four plus ion. If a transition metal only has one charge, it will not have a Roman numeral. This includes silver, which is an AG plus, cadmium, CD two plus, and zinc, ZN two plus. So if that is a formula that we're writing the name for, we would not say zinc Roman numeral two because there's only one positive ion. So if we're going to name this COI2, we look up cobalt in the periodic table. It has more than one positive charge. So we have to state which positive charge the cobalt is. Iodine, again, for the nonmetals, we're going to use the top number, has a charge of minus one. Cobalt can be plus two or plus three. So let's use that information to write the formula. Since cobalt is plus two and iodine is minus one, And the formula is cobalt 2 iodide. If we're given the formula, the Roman numeral tells you which ion you're using. So we don't have to look up iron. We know it's iron plus 3. Oxygen from the periodic table is minus 2. Now, how do we balance this formula? 
so that the charges add up to zero. And what we have to do is double the iron so that it has a total of plus six. And we have to triple the oxygen so it has a total of minus six. And then plus six and minus six add up to zero. And that is it for today's lesson. The next couple of lessons are going to be fairly short because each topic I want you to be able to understand before we add another layer. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.